Good morning. New Year's Eve. And why the hell everybody make it black eyed peas? <laughs> big guy, big guy. What's up? They gon' feel us when we roll. They call them big guy, big guy. Okay. And we be putting on for sure. And if you know these, join in. Subscribe to the channel. We like the video. It's a big family. <laughs> What's up, your people? I'm thinking gonna make them black eyed peas today. I do have a pack. It's funny, this was the last pack they had today at Walmart. We were like last night at Walmart. I was up so late. I went to go see Star Wars, and I hadn't seen Star Wars in, damn, 30 years? I just hadn't had an interest after um, I grew up a little bit, so. And uh, we could go see it last night by myself, and I was just chilling. I said, okay, all right. The, the graphics, the storyline was pretty good, so I think I need to catch up on Star Wars. So all my Star Wars friends out there, great movie. <laughs> it was a good movie. Anyway, got to keep you guys alone. I'm going to attempt to make these black eyed peas and um, see if I can find some reasonings why we do that. You know why I say we. I used to see uh, my friends, family, mothers, they're uh, making black eyed peas uh, every new year. And uh, so, yeah, something about the first day I'm walking through the house or something, I don't know, brings good fortune to the, for the whole year, but we'll see. This one goes out to Larry Thompson. I miss my friend, my dear friend I grew up with in City Coast. So um, I remember his family doing this a lot, so. Black Eyed P for this Thanksgiving 2020, guys. Check it. Oh, yeah. A lot of things come in the can, but not today, baby. Not today. So we're gonna go through this thing, make sure we don't see any dirt or any, any messed up beads or whatnot. Make sure we're all good. Sometimes they have little lots of dirt in it. Let me go for this and save you guys uh, the tiny steak and this is not taking you guys for this process. I'm soaking in water. I'm not sure why we soaking in water, but this time I am. So I got them soaking in water. I think I'm gonna add a little, I don't know. I'm gonna let them soak for now. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Got that turkey. I'm gonna mix it up with some seasoning and some bell pepper and onion. Got those black eyed peas, put them in the pot. Got that cabbage. And I got some corn cob. All for tomorrow's. Well, for New Year's dinner. Oh! Cornbread. <laughs> Homemade. <laughs> From the pot. <laughs> Do a little kick. Flavor on your powder. Season's in the pot, and then I'm gonna add the beans. The peas, that's a good thing. Yes. Some ham in it as well, too. Keep your ham. Sweet for the boy. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Smell it, vision? Yes, smell it. Anyway, you can see how it tastes. Smell it. Take this meatloaf and we'll put it in these pans, Rawr Rawr. Alright, let's get them in there. Spray it with pan. Spray it with pan. Spray it. 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 Over there. Over there. Over there. Got them all even. Look at that, got them all even. What I'm gonna do now, 
out is take this Reynolds wrap. I'm gonna cover each one up just like that. They're covered up. Now, time to go in the oven. In the oven they go. There we go. Oh, I got them in there. All right, we took these. And let them ride for like 30 minutes to see how they work, how, how they cook. About 30 minutes? That's how they look. I'm going to put them back in. Rain the oil off the turkey. Well, the meatloaf. <laughs> and then we're going to make that, um, a topping for it. So make the best topping. So here's some ketchup, some sex sauce, and some Worcestershire. Wow. Some Worcestershire. We'll stir it up and put it on top of it. All right, guys. Take a nice fry here and put it right on the top, right there. I had already did this one. The second one has to cook a bit longer. You see it? Spread it all over. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And put them covered up with the sauce and uh, let them cook for another maybe 15 minutes. So let's see. I'm going to pour off. Mm -hmm. Just the uh, water that's boiled off. I'm going to add the fish as well for flavor. Mm -hmm. Let's it up here, see the chunks of ham in it. Yeah, they're just about done, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna take that. That's all for me. Let's put the cabbage in there. Ball in the house, how to add the cabbage. Let's cabbage. This cap is going to wilt and, uh, and shrink. That cap should. All right. There we go. That's all it is. Don't need to make a lot of it. You ain't got a lot of people. Got my sugar on the top. Not much. It's a little sweetness. It looks like I did a lot, but I did do a lot here too. But I didn't add the butter yet, so I'm gonna wait till it um, it cooks a little bit, and then I add the butter. All right, guys, stay tuned. You cover it up. And you let it go. Let it go. All right. I'll take about I don't know, maybe 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes to cook. I'll keep your eye on it. And it's steaming. And I'll uh, put it on. Okay. You gotta have cornbread with cabbage and, and peas or any bean. I went ahead and put the eggs in. I got the sugar and I got the mayo. Uh, maybe a, a good heaping uh, spoonful of mayo would do. I'm about to add the corn oil. <laughs> Just a little bit. Don't need much. The, the buttermilk. Stuff it out with a little. Yeah. Maybe about that's about a cup. To determine the consistency. Let me show you how you want it. Consistency. Still thick, but it still it still rolls off the spoon. That's about where I want it. Got a pot about to put it in. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more flour and meal. So I had in my pan that I'm gonna cook the cornbread in over here with butter melting. So I got the butter melting. I like to take this butter here and pour it on top of the batter. Okay. Buttery. I'm gonna take oh, about a half a stick of butter. Put it in the pot, turn it up, and let that melt. Uh, after added the butter, look at that. It's closed down. That's about the way you work the consistency. I got it on almost on high. So whatever I put in here, you know it's gonna cook. Hold on, let me do this real quick. Get a whole it's technically it's still cooking. I got it on top of the stove still. Uh, got the batter all um, balanced out and, and even. So right now, it's cooking with the initial crust there. I put it up. Oh, there we go. Sweet corn. Yeah. Pop that open. Put all 
Mm. Most of all, that cornbread is ready. Woohoo! Look at that. Let's get it out the oven and see how it looks. Alright, guys. That's that cornbread. I gotta do one more thing to it. I gotta add some more butter, baby. It's all about the butter. That butter. Bring up the top of it. Buttermilk cornbread, man. Homemade. Like that first slice of cornbread comes right out. There it goes. All right, here we have it. Got the corn going. Got the black eyed peas. Got the cornbread. Got the cabbage. And we got the meatloaf made out of turkey. That's the figures lineup <laughs> for today. Black eyed peas. They say if you cook black eyed peas on the first of the year, the new year, the first day, you get good luck for the whole year. See this thing by the way. I'm not sure if you guys love or like black eyed peas. This is it right here. These are the ones you gotta have right here. Turkey um, meatloaf there. Got the cabbage covered with some ham, some carrots, and some tomatoes and onions. I got two small petite corn on the cob, very sweet. And I got the homemade buttermilk cornbread. Yeah. <laughs> 